I believe that uh, uh, when you begin to operate in the mind of Christ, you worry a lot less, you stress a lot less, uh, you fear a lot less, uh, you fail a lot less. Because when you're operating in the mind of Christ, you're seeing beyond natural things and seeing into the realm of the supernatural. Now we have another scripture in the book of Isaiah, chapter 26 and verse 3. In Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3, the Bible tells us what the effects of having the mind of Christ are. And once you begin to operate in the mind of Christ, the Bible says in Isaiah 26 and 3, Thou, or in other words God, thou wilt keep in perfect peace the mind that is stayed on thee. Isaiah 26 and 3, Thou wilt keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee. And so when you, when you focus on the, the mind of God, the mind of Christ, uh, uh, you receive a peace-filled mind because uh, one of the effects of being in the presence of God is peace. Uh, the Bible says, Great peace have they that love thy law, and nothing shall by any means offend them. And so when we begin to operate in the mind of Christ, we begin to develop uh, what I call a, a peaceful mind. You know, when I was a young man, there were two books that I think impacted my life as a teenager more than any books that I ever read. And, and one book was by Dale Carnegie, and it was called uh, How to Be Successful. That book changed my life when I read it. I was probably only 14 or 15 years old when I read Dale Carnegie's book, How to Be Successful. And uh, a lot of the principles Dale Carnegie taught in that book were, were uh, biblical principles, uh, and he was just giving them to modern-day laymen. And there was an, another book that greatly impacted my life as a young man. When I read it, it was written way back in the 1920s by a man named Napoleon Hill. And Napoleon Hill wrote a couple of very powerful books uh, during his lifetime. He wrote a book called Think and Grow Rich. And uh, he also wrote a book called Outwitting the Devil. Now, there was a lot of controversy that surrounded Napoleon Hill's life. He claimed to have uh, sat and talked to Dale Carnegie, one of the richest man in the world in the, his early days, uh, and many other people. I don't know if it's true or not, but I do know one thing. Uh, Napoleon Hill had some revelations concerning uh, uh, how your mind needs to operate. And Napoleon Hill made a statement that I wanted to, I wanted to throw out here to you. Because remember Isaiah 26 and 3, thou will keep in perfect peace the mind that's fixed on God. God will keep in perfect peace the mind that is fixed on him. Well, Napoleon Hill said that a peaceful mind generates power. And that's really what I'm talking to you about today. Uh, the, the, my teachings aren't for everybody. There, there are plenty of people that are they're happy to pop in church on Sunday morning and you know, write a check, you know, and, and uh, listen to a 30-minute uh, message, pop back out the door, and, call, and feel like they've done their duty for the week. My, my, my messages, that I, my teachings that I've been putting on YouTube and spreading around on social media, they're, they're not for nominal Christians because uh, nominal Christians wouldn't be interested in the things that I've been teaching about. But my teachings are for people that are hungry to have a, a, a powerful ministry and to have Christ operate through them. 